A lot of local kids start back to school week and we all love to capture those first day of school pictures. That's right, but experts want to warn you, you may not warn or you want to think twice before sharing them on social media. And our Kiara Cotton now joins us live in studio with the best ways that you can protect you and your child's privacy. Any of that personal information you put online, it stays online and it can get out in any sort of way. Even if you've got those privacy settings on, that information can still get out to criminals. Experts in local law enforcement are encouraging parents to avoid sharing specific details about their children on social media. This includes the name of the school your child attends, the grade they're going to, and what activities they participate in. We do hear about it happening, uh, you know, all over the, the state of Texas and, and the country as far as, you know, people finding personal information online. So just do your part. Keep that personal information off of Facebook, off of Instagram and other social media platforms and celebrate in a, in a safe way. On a broader scale, the Enough is Enough organization spokesperson Kathy Hatem encourages parents to monitor their kids' online usage at all times. Use the parental controls use privacy settings, do things like set time limits. Even with all those things in place, um, which are incredibly helpful, it's really, really important that parents have ongoing conversations and dialogues with their child. Hayden reports that traffickers recruit half of their underage victims online. So being mindful of what anyone posts on social media can help keep everyone safe. We really, in this day and age of being digitally connected, want to make sure that we're doing all we can to protect our kids from an online encounter uh, with a dangerous predator or trafficker. Now, when it comes to protecting your identity, one thing that you want to consider when you forget your password, some of the security questions that websites will ask are, where did you go to grade school? What was your high school mascot? Who was your favorite teacher? So you want to make sure you aren't posting all of that information online for scammers to easily find. I mean, that is something that, you know, you, you don't think of when you're like, look, here's my, yeah. you know, even my reunion from whatever. Yeah. But uh, a lot of important information sure. there. A lot of things to keep in mind, Kiara. And we have talked about this on Mom Squad too. It's important to talk about this with your kids, friends, parents too. So they know if you're comfortable about posting photos as well, because you know, at the bus stop, then, you know, you take yeah. pictures of a big group. You want to make sure it's okay with everyone. Absolutely. So, Kiara, thank you so much.